my brain tech here where tech is made simple. So here's one for our Linux viewers where cybersecurity researchers have now identified a critical security vulnerability in Linux distros that can give attackers full system access even on devices using full disk encryption. Now this is all according to this post by ERNW that got the exploit working on Ubuntu 25.04 and Fedora 42. Just take note though that not all Linux distros are affected by this issue. So basically this is how it all works according to this post which is quite in depth so I'll leave this linked down below in the description if you'd like some more information. So basically how this um, flaw works is attackers with physical access to a Linux system can access a debug shell by entering the wrong decryption password several times in a row. And on Ubuntu, then the attacker can hit escape at the password prompt, enter a few key combos, and the debug shell appears. And it's through this debug shell that attackers are able to compromise encrypted systems. So what they can do then is they can mount a USB drive with tools to modify the system's init RAM FS, which stands for Initial RAM File System, which basically at the end of the day is a temporary system run during boot to prepare the main OS. And there will be no security flags because init RAM FS is not signed. And then what happens then after that is the next time you boot into your device and you enter the correct password, the code then runs with elevated privileges, which allows it then to do things like gain remote access, allow it to steal data, run a keylogger, and so on. Now, according to this post, this vulnerability is not a bug or a flaw, but it says, it does mention in the post that it's more of an oversight and a blind spot in the way certain distributions are built. And as you may well know, the debug shell is helpful, but it can be used and manipulated for the wrong purposes. Now, just a quick side note and a quick heads up. Despite the impact this can have on a system, I think most Ubuntu users don't really need to be worried, especially if you're an average home user. Because this will require someone to actually sit down at your desk, so to speak, with your device, and this all has to take place. So it's not a remote code execution or anything like that. Someone would need to take the time to actually physically be at your system. Now, if we just head back to the post, and we go right down to the bottom here. As mentioned, this will be down in the description. It says, in conclusion, the presence of a debug shell in the init RAM FS represents a rarely discussed but viable attack vector, particularly in scenarios involving physical access such as evil-made attacks. So this is what it's referred to as an evil-made attack. While secure boot, full disk encryption, and bootloader passwords are vital defenses, they can be undermined if the init RAM FS remains unsigned and debuggable. Mitigations are simple and effective, such as adjusting kernel parameters, restricting boot access, or using full boot partition encryption. Yet these are often missing from standard hardening guards, benchmarks, and tooling. As attackers get more creative, defenders must address the assumptions and blind spots that traditional checklists overlook. We hope this post brings attention to one of them. So there we go. That's for our Linux users. A new... Linux security issue that can use init RAM FS to inject malware into your system. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.